uh, hi, in the, in the last videos, we demonstrated uh, how the Swing framework handle our game view. Uh, Swing have its own thread managing, so let's spend 5 to 10 minutes talk, uh, talking about the uh, Swing thread model. Um, okay, let's uh, take 5 minutes on, on this. <laughs> Whoa, great! Okay, five minutes. Um, uh, here, the Swing document says uh, Swing have three kind of threads. Initial threads, like our main and all the event handling is happening in a single thread, which is even a dispatch thread. This thread is, um, is the only thread handling our event. Basically, it's single threaded. Uh, there is a background thread to running to run the long running um, tasks, but uh, our view didn't involve this. So let's focus on the event dispatch thread. Event dispatch thread, it's um, it's a uh, event handling thread. Uh, let's test out what thread our code is running into. Uh, the main thread. The main thread is definitely not running in the event dispatch thread. You can put a bet on that. How about the constructor of the J panel? Maybe running in the even a dispatch thread about the paint component. Let's see. Compile, okay. And um, when you press a key, this code most likely running by the event dispatch thread because that is what the document told us. How about the key released? Key released. Okay. Uh, let's test it. Test it out. We run the program. Uh, game board is not running by the event dispatch. May not. And the paint. Paint is running by the event dispatch thread. Uh, we press a key. Uh, let's press a key. Press arrow. Okay. And uh, it's type key. They are all running by the event dispatch thread. So event dispatch thread handle our joining, handle our keys, and it don't handle the main. And uh, let's take a look at how this magic happens. Let's close this. Um, since the swing utility have intimate knowledge of, about of that thread, let's start from there. And uh, event queue know the secret and uh, by calling uh, this okay is dispatch thread info because it's compare your current running thread with its own private thread okay and uh, event queue is the owner of this event dispatch thread mentioned in the document and uh, since you are the owner, let's see how you start the thread. Okay, this run is not interesting. I didn't see the start. Not this one. This one is good. Okay, and um, even dispatch thread is initialized and the start by the even the dispatcher uh, by the uh, init init dispatch thread method. Okay, let's take a look at this one. It's ex extends thread. Sure enough, this is uh, even a dispatch thread mentioned in the document. And uh, the event queue is is a queue, so it's uh, it maintain a private queues. And uh, looks like this is a 
consumer producer design pattern. Uh, most likely you submit your event and it's queued there and uh, take out by the consumer executed one by one uh, by their priorities. That's why you have an array of queues. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, public method trying to find those producers. Producers uh, put event in. Okay, this looks promising. Uh, oh, it put a new event, a queue. This is not a good. We want to put an event, so this is not a candidate. This one looks good. It put a new event, and document says it's post uh, event. Okay, then let's try to find out all the consumers. The consumer need to call this public method in order to submit uh, the event. Okay, these are multiple producers. One of those are our lovely components. Uh, line 16737. Uh, it create a component event and add it to the queue. Exactly the producer consumer pattern. How about the other producers? Open core hierarchy. And uh, how about this one? Okay, um, you post the event, so you post a peer event, okay, you add a peer event to the queue. Now we know the producers. Who is the consumer? The consumer need to uh, take event from the queue and execute it. Uh, this one looks uh, next event. Okay, and uh, it says remove the event from the event queue and uh, return it. This looks exactly like the interface for the consumers. Let's open the core hierarchy. Uh, down there is a single consumer, which is the document that says the single consumer is the event dispatch thread. Exactly. <laughs> and um, it uh, uh, event dispatch thread get the event from the queue and uh, it consume it and uh, dispatch it. So it's dispatch, dispatch info, and a different kind of uh, event have different kind of dispatch strategy. Um, we don't have to go into those details, but they do what they do. They uh, dispatch. Okay, now we understand um, how the even it's handled, uh, there's multiple um, producers, like our view, like our uh, our paint, our key press, they create an event and put it into the queue. And at the background, the event dispatch thread is running them one by one. Uh, I say one by one because it's not run concurrent. Uh, for example, you can, you can move or shoot, but you cannot move and shoot because there's uh, only one thread running this. And uh, that's a proof. And uh, uh, how we get uh, noticed when there is an event happening. And uh, let's check the uh, core hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Here, when uh, component I got a key event. Uh, since we are the key listener, right? We are the key listener. We get a chance to respond to it. So this is an observer design pattern happening here. An event uh, happens, and the listeners, as observers, they get a notice and uh, take their turn to uh, run method. And uh, this is a swing framework. And uh, how much time we spend on this? Okay, I don't know. Uh, whatever. And um, uh, that's it.